Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I cannot wait to share with you six DIY Dollar Tree high-end desire decor crafts. So this is episode 12 in my huge I Love Summer series. I'd love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and comment down below. I have a new giveaway for you on this video. And without further ado, go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafting. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this Summer Vibes sign and transform it into a little bit more multi-seasonal purpose. So I removed the limes and let me tell you, I think this sign is absolutely adorable. I actually picked up two so I could use one for the summer and then one for this project. I'm also going to take some DAP patch and paint and I'm just going to patch the little holes that were at the top of this sign. Now this step is optional and they also sell the patch and paint at Dollar Tree in a smaller container. The next thing I want to do is take some of the Waverly White chalk paint and this is the last of my chalk paint you guys. I cannot find it at Walmart anywhere so please comment and help a girl out and let me know. Do you guys know if there's anywhere online where we can buy this Waverly White chalk paint? Anyway drop a comment down below. I did use three coats of the chalk paint and then I'm going to share with you guys you guys can do some lettering with some of the Dollar Tree poster board lettering or I'm going to share with you guys a really cute little Cricut design that I use for this project. I found this home sweet home side on the Cricut design space and I'm just going to go ahead and print it out on my Cricut. Again, you can use Dollar Tree lettering if you do not have a Cricut, no big deal at all. I used some transfer paper to create a transfer home a sweet home and then I'm just going to apply it to the front of my little sign. Now I'm a total Cricut beginner so I'm using the pre-made templates. I even kind of struggle with those so comment and let me know if you guys have any tips for me also on what are some great Cricut tutorials. I am doing my best to learn as I go. Now that I have my transfer applied, I am gonna save and reuse the little transfer tape. And then I'm gonna take this gold paint pen. Now I found this at Michael's and you can use your half off coupon. I believe it was $6. Dollar Tree also is carrying a gold paint pen though, but I do like the larger one just for some of these larger projects. Now I'm taking a ruler and I'm just gonna draw some little lines here. I wanna create a little check pattern at the top of my home sweet home sign. If you guys have been following me, you know that I have been crushing on Mackenzie Child's checkerboard. I think it's a fun, interesting take on the Buffalo check, which I know is gonna be super hot again this season, but I wanna give it my own little twist. So I kind of love the Mackenzie Child's checkerboard. Comment and let me know if you're a little obsessed with me right now as well. So I'm just going ahead and painting the little black squares. And this project was rather easy. This flat surfaces are really great to start with. Just a little tip if you guys are afraid to try the checkerboard pattern and um, let me tell you start with a flat surface that will really help it stay steady and also some of you all have been remarking um, to just use a sharpie instead of the paintbrush which is an awesome idea too. So now that I have my little black checks painted I'm going in with a little bit of gold and white to kind of give it that hand painted look and just going in and around my checks. So this gold paint pen is called the Deco Color Premium Primo Pro pen, I guess. Somebody had asked me what it was. So hopefully that will help you if you decide you wanna try that. But again, I'm also using the gold paint pen from Dollar Tree. It actually works pretty well. It's just the tip of it isn't as wide as I need for some of these larger projects. So I'm going back in with just a little bit of gold and white detail work. That's something to be said is the more kind of little details you add to some of these projects, a little bit more high end it looks. And I also decided to go ahead and give it this glam gold handle. I really wanted this to be a neutral sign. I wanted it to go for multi seasons. So it can go for fall, Christmas, spring, um, pretty much any season with the black and white and a little bit of gold accent. And then I can even tie a bow on the handle. And think about this too. You guys can do any saying on the side, the front of the sign that you want to do. You don't have to do the home sweet home. You could do, you know, southern sweet tea or welcome or any little happy fall y'all anything that you guys want to do so I popped it in to this little setting and oh 
my goodness, I am so crushing on these pops of black and white and sunflowers. And again, black and white is so versatile, you guys. So think about that through the transitional season changes, kind of like we're going to be in now. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I found this Pottery Barn tray on the Pottery Barn website. It was $63 and I knew we could duplicate it using Dollar Tree supplies. I'm starting out with this little wooden tray from Dollar Tree. You get it in the crafters square section and this Waverly antique wax and then just one of those Dollar Tree sponge brushes. And I'm gonna take the sponge brush and apply the wax over the entire tray. So if you're going for that um, kind of modern farmhouse look, you could kind of just stop at applying the wax. You get this nice kind of pretty brown. If you're going for more of a French country look, you could overlay some white chalk paint onto this. But I wanna go for that burn antique gold look that was on that pottery barn tray so the first layer to this is going to be the wax the next thing I want to do is just kind of sand it down a little bit and um, smooth off some of those edges they're uncut wood products some of them have a little bit of unsmooth edges so I thought we just go ahead and smooth the edges down just a bit the next step I want to take is I want to add some black and some gold paint mixed together so you dip half your brush in black and then kind of half of it in gold and you just want to kind of let them swim around together the colors and I'm just going to begin to apply that to the outside of this so what I want to do is again build up layers to give it that antiqued kind of gold finish and then I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do that all around the entire tray and I did even add in a little bit of brown to this as I was going along after I got the, uh, the black finished um, but I'm going ahead and going in with the black and the gold and just giving it a nice generous layer this part does not have to be perfect at all in fact the more imperfect it is which I love <laughs> the better you're gonna be and so once I have that done I'm gonna go in again with my gold paint pen and here's the Dollar Tree crafter square paint pen and then there's that little deco art premium paint pen I do like the deco art one a little bit better on these larger projects where I need that fine that larger tip now the deco point paint pen you kind of have to push it down to get the paint to come out and then that can make it kind of slide down um, I found that if you push the paint pen down on the side of a mat or like this little piece of paper that works a lot better but you can also just take a paintbrush and clean things up with a paintbrush which is what I'm doing again I wanted to have that antiqued look so here it is the finished product oh of course now it's not quite as high-end as pottery barn but for one dollar and some paint I think we created a fabulous little tray that has that antique appeal and again this is is going to be that all season decor that I want to share with you guys in this video it can cover pretty much any season and especially going into fall where we do want to add some pops of rustic decor to our um, vignettes no matter what style we're decorating with you always want to have a flare of rustic in with your fall decor and even into some of your Christmas and winter decor so there you have that you said my world for the next DIY, I want to create a beautiful blooming lantern. I'm using this lantern that I found at Dollar General for $10 and then some of these Dollar Tree sunflowers and I'm going to put them in to end and then I'm also going to take some greenery and these little mums. The greenery I did find at Michael's on clearance. They have a lot of clearance florals right now at the end of the season. So I'm just going to take them end to end and create a little swag. You want to leave enough room to be able to tie some wire around the center to secure your, your florals together. So I added some Dollar Tree mums, sunflowers, and then the greenery. And then I'm going to take this pipe cleaner and just twist it around the center to secure all of my florals together. You could also use wire or florist tape as well. Once I have that accomplished, I can just take this and tie it right on to my lantern. I see these on Pinterest and they are so beautiful and I have to share with you guys how to do these. It's so easy and such a high-end look. So here's what it looks like right now with your floral. Now I'm going to take several different Dollar Tree ribbons. I chose two chevron and then one with the burlap and lace and I'm just going to make a loopy bow. So you just take your ribbon and create two loops and then just pinch it at the base. Super easy. You guys can totally do this. I'll also link my huge Olivia bow down below in a bow video for you if you need a little bit more extensive information on bows. Now I'm going to take the white chevron ribbon again and just loop it on top of each other. You just give two two 
loops, secure it with your hands, and then once you're done, all you guys have to do is take some wire and wrap that around the top part of your loops. Now, if you have problems with your hands, you could always use a chip clip to kind of keep everything together until you get, get to your wire. So I'm just gonna tie it all together, and it's gonna look a little bit like a hot mess right now, but trust me, we're gonna make it look fabulous. So I'm also starting to go ahead and pull some of my loops out, and then I'm gonna secure it onto my lantern in the center part of my swag, and that's gonna um, be kind of the blooming part where the florals are blooming at the top and the bottom, so they're gonna kinda, kinda cascade, and then you wanna pull your ribbon loops forward, so you're pulling those little tails forward. You wanna make sure every um, pattern is represented. So I pulled all my chevron patterns together and th then my little lace and burlap. And these are all Dollar Tree ribbon, so don't hesitate to grab some of that cute Dollar Tree ribbon. Also try to get wired ribbon. And if you're not able to get out, you can also order ribbon online. I've been linking a lot of it in my Amazon store because I'm ordering a lot online as well. So now I'm just gonna take an extra Dollar Tree sunflower that I have floating around in my stash and pop that into the top to kind of make it bloom a little bit more at the top and then another little mum and then a pop of greenery now this step is optional it looks really pretty with just the swag but I do want to give it a little bit more height right here um, and you guys know me I love big bows and big florals so here we go with that now I'm taking this Dollar Tree sunflower ribbon and this is not wired ribbon, so you kind of have to play around with it. And I just created a couple loops, and then I'm gonna hot glue it into the center of my bow, just to give it some interest in that pop of whimsy. And then I'm taking these little Dollar Tree kind of trailing flowers. I wanna give it some texture, and just also give it some more whimsy. So I'm using my hot glue gun, and I'm gonna attach some more pretty florals. And then once I have that finished, I'm gonna add a little bit more whimsical sunflower ribbon. And of course, this is all optional but I really love to go over the top and here is how it looks so far I think it is so fun and fabulous and so budget friendly these high-end boutique on a budget um, designs don't have to break the bank they can really be beautiful with a little bit of combination and whimsy and add that pop of surprise and the elegance I think it comes together really beautifully and it gives that pop of color that we want in the late summer heading into early fall I just want I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I decided I wanted to dazzle up this little paper mache Dollar Tree box. So I'm taking my Waverly white chalk paint. Again, comment and let me know if you guys know somewhere that is carrying this online because our stores are completely sold out. But I'm just gonna chalk paint the entire thing. And of course, I guess I could use regular paint, but for quick and easy paint jobs, I have just gotten so addicted to chalk paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it two coats of the chalk paint. And then I decided it needed a little bit of some French flair. So I decided to go ahead and use my painter's tape and a Sharpie and just draw out some stripes. My idea is to create just a cute little kind of candle box or just any little tiny box that can sit on a tray and give it that kind of French Paris, French country feel. Um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw more lines with my Sharpie. And then once I have that finished, I can add some black paint. You can use any acrylic acrylic black paint will work. And I did pretty good at drawing my lines. Again, I've just kind of now picked my paintbrush back up again. So I wanna encourage you all, if you are a little bit rusty at painting or you haven't painted in a while, I'm actually taking a Skillshare class for 101 acrylics. And so hopefully I can share more of my painting skills with you all. Now I am going to go ahead and draw some squares. I decided to give it a little bit of a Mackenzie Child's feel on the lid. Again, I feel I feel like the Mackenzie Child's checks are a really high-end boutique look that kind of gives that buffalo check flair that we're going to be seeing heading into fall but gives it a little bit of a different look and then I want to go in and add some dimension and highlight to my stripes with just a tiny touch of gold and white paint not very much just enough to dab it on there and make it appear to be hand painted
for the side of the box, I decided to add some stripes and then I'm going in with my paint pen. Again, this is that deco art paint pen that I found at Michael's. I'm guessing they may carry it online. I love the tip because it's a wider tip. I've also been using the Dollar Tree little gold paint pen as well, but the tip on it is super tiny. So comment and let me know if you guys have seen one that Dollar Tree is carrying that has a wider tip. I'm just not sure about that. So here is my adorable little French country, French farmhouse box. I popped one of those flameless flickering candles in, which if you guys have not tried those, I'm going to leave the link down below for those and for the adorable muffins. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I found a stash of Dollar Tree sunflower dishes that I had from last season. I actually rebought four more. So I buy four um, to use just as dinnerware to eat off of, and then I have some for decoration. Now don't eat off the dishes that you've painted upon, but I'm going to go ahead ahead and paint stripes with my Sharpie marker and I use the piece of tape to edge it out. This is a lot trickier than a plate. So if you're a beginner with the stripes and the checks, you may want to start with a plate, which I have found to be a lot less intensive, but I'm going to go ahead and use some of this deco art paint and you can use any acrylic paint. This is really all they had at Michael's and it just happened to be glass paint. So I was like, well, I'll give it a try. And I actually feel like I kind of like acrylic paint better. I've used both. Also, I'm just going to go ahead and use my paintbrush to paint stripes on this. I wanted to share with you guys a different look um, other than the check. So if you're not digging the check, are you a little bit um, hard to do with checks? You could always just do a stripe. Now, once I get closer to having my checks done, I'm going in with this really fine little paintbrush. I found this pack of paintbrushes at Dollar Tree and their paintbrushes work pretty good. Now, I'm not a fine artist, <laughs> so if you are, you may be disappointed, but I felt like the quality was pretty good, you guys, so don't be afraid of the crafters square paintbrushes. Now, the little sunflowers going around them was a little bit tedious, but I kind of just took my paintbrush and swirled it along there. This project did not turn out perfect, but give yourself some grace if you're trying these projects and just keep going. I feel like a lot of you all have encouraged me, so I'm going to encourage you that you'll get better as you keep going. And I think it fits perfectly and oh so adorable into my transitional season decor. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you how I'm going to paint one of my little sunflower bowls in a check pattern. So in my last DIY video, which I'll link down below for you all, I shared with you guys how to paint the sunflower plates in a check pattern. Now we're going to go for a bowl and I decided not to use the tape to trim this out. So it left me with an extra check, which might be a mistake, but it was so much easier and I was able to get better lines. I felt, I don't know, bowls are really really tricky. I'm going to try to attempt a cup soon and see how that goes. So once I have all my straight lines drawn, I'm just going to draw a line around the bowl to create my little checkerboard pattern. And once I have that accomplished, and I even thought it might be cute just to leave the stripes. You could go back over them and make them super cute. Um, but I did decide to go ahead and do the check. So I'm using my black paint and my paintbrush, and I'm just going to color in my little checks. Now, if you all have trouble painting, painting. I have had some of you tell me that you're just using a black Sharpie to Sharpie in your checks, which that is totally fine as well. I really feel like everybody's step and journey is a little bit different. And so just do whatever works for you. You could also use a napkin and decoupage some of those pretty check napkins in and around the little sunflower dishes as well, which I have shared those DIYs with you guys too. I'm hoping you all are having fun watching me paint. Comment and let me know. Also, if you signed up for Skillshare. What class are you guys going to be taking? I also just took one of their floral design classes. I've never had any formal, formal training in florals, so that was a really fun thing to learn. Now here's the two different paint pens. One is from the Crafters Square from Dollar
Dollar Tree. And the other one is that Primo Prime Pro. I'm using the Prime Pro around the top. So I'm just gonna do a gold edging around the top of my bowl. The Mackenzie Childs actually uses a gold paint in their designs that has 24 karat gold in it from what I listened to when I was um, listening to the history of their designs. And it, it starts out red and then once they fire it, it turns to that gold color. But we're using fake gold here. Remember, we're on a budget. <laughs> but I think it turned out really cute. And you can always use a little bit of fingernail polish remover if you get your paint in the wrong spot. That's another little tip or trick that I have for you. And so the actual cup you all have also asked me about, that cup is a real Mackenzie Child's cup. So I think I'm doing pretty good trying to replicate their high-end designs on a teeny tiny budget. As always, comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating? I love to hear what you all are inspired to do. And don't forget to customize this to suit the color of your decor. So maybe you're not doing sunflowers, um, but you're doing lemons, you could do yellow checks, or maybe you're doing French country, you could do brown checks. Maybe you're doing shabby chic girly, you could do pink checks. Customize this to suit your decor style. You don't have to do um, exactly what I'm doing, even though if you're inspired, definitely go for it. I love to see also all of the posts you all are making on my Ladies Romantic Home Facebook group page. You all are so inspiring. I feel like it's just this big creative um, family that we have and everybody is sharing and just having so much fun over there. So thank you for that. And stay tuned. I'm going to let you guys know what my giveaway is on this video. so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and comment down below. Now the secret question to enter my candle giveaway and I'm giving away a set of these three piece flickering flameless candles. You guys are going to love these. I'll link some of my Amazon store down below if you just can't wait for the giveaway. But the secret question is what is your favorite dream vacation? I know a lot of us cannot go on vacation right now, but I really think it's important to keep on dreaming. So comment down below and let me know if you could pick anywhere, any budget, what would be your favorite dream vacation? I also want to let you all know that I have the Lily's Romantic Home Facebook group page. It's totally free to join. And if you want to socialize with other crafty decor friends out there and share photos of your DIY projects, things you might be working on or decor, I would love to have you guys over there. All you have to do is request to join. I'll approve your request and you can post those photos and um, decor inspiration over there. So I also have the Lily's Romantic Home Instagram page. Follow me over there. I do share like behind the scenes sneak peeks of my DIY projects as well as just everything I have going on in my crafty mama life. I also share condensed videos of my DIY projects on all of my social media so definitely check that out if you guys just need more binge-worthy crafting inspiration and decorating and I am so excited to announce that next week I have a fun and fabulous collaboration coming up. You guys are going to absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite DIY crafty decor friends so look for some sneak peeks of that and also, I just want to let you all know I love you all to the moon and back, and I want you to keep going wherever you're at on your crafting, your decorating journey. Maybe you're recovering from something, or you're just safe at home, or maybe you're working your little tail off out there. Stay cool, stay positive, and I cannot wait for the next video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe to enter that giveaway, and remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.